गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ मिसेज अश्विनी कड़भानी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एस कॉलेज देवलाली कैम्प वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच द एस वाई बी एस सी सेमिस्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज द जेनेटिक्स इन जेनेटिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक यूनिट नंबर वन एंड इन विच टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डी एन ए एंड आर एन ए वॉट आर द न्यूक्लियो न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स एंड हाउ दे आर मेड सो यर वी आर गो इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द न्यूक्लिक एसिड केमिस्ट्री एंड वेरियस न्यूक्लिक एसिड कंपोनेंट्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू रिकैप वॉट वी हैव लर्न अर्लियर इन आर अर्लियर सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द वेरियस एक्सपेरिमेंट विच प्रूव दैट इट वॉज द डी एन ए एज अ जेनेटिक मटेरियल एंड ग्रिफिथ फैड्रिक ग्रिफिथ वॉज द फर्स्ट साइंटिस्ट हु प्रूव दैट the uh, transformation principle was given by the scientist frederick griffith then uh, every meclaud also proved by using the conclusion of the frederick griffith and uh, after that various experiments were carried to prove that the G dna is the only genetic material present in the live live uh, live cells except uh, viruses viruses have some viruses have RNA as a genetic material in which the TMV virus that is the tobacco mosaic virus have the RNA as the genetic material which was also proven by the scientists and that experiment also we have already learned so uh, in recap what we have learned we have seen the hershey chase bacteriophage experiment in which the e coli were taken then we have seen the garer and scarman tobacco mosaic virus experiment which shows that it was the rna as the genetic material in the tmv and the conhern singer experiment which was also on the tmv virus so in our today's session it this was what we have learned earlier in our previous session in our previous session we have seen the discoveries we have seen the mendel findings we have seen the discoveries of dna how it was proven that it was it is a gen uh, dna as a genetic material we have seen the various experiments which is in your syllabus now we are moving towards the nucleic acid in nucleic acid we have to see the two types that one it is the rna and next one it is the dna both in uh, we have we are going to see their components how uh, they are present in the cell what are the different types of the dna and rna that we have uh, going to learn in our today's session in today's session we are going to see the short uh, terms of all this components but in next session we are going to see in detail with their structure so our today's session that is the types of nucleic acid which are the dna and the rna the structure of dna there uh, we all know that in dna there is the three components present one it is the sugar one it is the uh, phosphate group and one it is the nitrogen base so all that components and all these components not only in dna also in rna in nucleic acid in any nucleic acid these three components they are present and they are joined together by the phosphorized bond so that causes a polynucleotide chain that we are also going to study we are going to study various bonds they are involved one some there are the hydrogen bonding present between the nitrogenous bases there is the phosphodiester bond present between the two nucleotides that we are going to see and the different forms of dna so here we are going to start about the types of nucleic acid now if we have already learned in our previous session about the nucleic acid nucleic acid they are the one of the biomolecule present in the cell in each and every uh, living cell there is the four biomolecules uh, which a cell is comprising of that is one is carbohydrate one is protein one is lipid and one it is the nucleic acid the types of nucleic acid already we have seen that is the two types one it is the dna and one it is the rn second one it is the rna dna in its name that is the deoxyribonucleic acid why it is called as the deoxy because on the third position of that sugar ribo sugar ribo sugar is the pentose sugar in that pentose sugar at the third position the oxygen group is absent so here the oxygen group is absent so it is called as the deoxy and in ribo uh, rna the oxygen group is present so it is the ribonucleic acid 
Ribo because the ribo sugar is present which is the pentose sugar. Nucleic acid because it is present in the nucleic acid nucleus. So it is the deoxyribose nucleic acid which is the DNA and second one is the ribonucleic acid which is the RNA. Now we are going to see the distribution of nucleic acid in the eukaryotic cell. DNA is found in the nucleus with very small amounts in the mitochondria and the chloroplast while RNA is found throughout the cell because the because the various types of RNA they are included in the protein synthesis. Now we have again we have to go to the recap we have seen the central dogma. In the central dogma the transcription and translation comes and because of that central dogma the synthesis of the protein occurs. When the translation process is going on, the uh, translation pro pro process requires the three types of the RNA that is the mRNA, rRNA and the tRNA. So for that purpose your RNA should be present throughout the cell. Nucleic acid then and their heredity process of the transfer of genetic material is cause uh, is the uh, heredity because of that the uh, genetic material from one progeny is passed towards the next progeny in that the first step is the replication. Replication means identical copies they are made of DNA. The DNA when it undergoes uh, the replication and the various enzymes they are involved for this process it makes the same copy of its DNA that is the duplication of the DNA ok. So that is the uh, uh, replication process. Next is the transcription. Transcription means the uh, conversion of the DNA into the mRNA or the RNA. Uh, genetic messages they are read and carried out of the cell nucleus to the ribosome where the protein synthesis occur and the, uh, uh, the protein synthesis step the first step includes the transcription in which the DNA is converted into the mRNA. Later on the translation. Genetic messages they are decoded to make the proteins these mRNA they are translated and the proteins they are formed. The long polypeptide chain of the amino acid causes the protein synthesis. Now you can see in the diagram that is the DNA that is duplication of the uh, DNA that is by the replication mechanism synthesis of the protein of uh, when the DNA is transcribed into the mRNA and the mRNA is translated into, into the long chain of the amino acid which is the protein. Nucleotides. Now uh, the any nucleic acid is made up of the two types one it is the nucleoside and second one it is the nucleotide. Now you can see in the diagram uh, about the nucleotides. Now we all know that in the DNA and the, and the RNA the two components they are present one it is the nucleoside and next one it is the nucleotide. Nucleoside in which the phosphate group is absent only the nitrogen base and the pentose sugar is present it is called as the nucleoside and nucleotides they are the all the three parts that is the nitrogen base the pentose sugar and the phosphate group present they are called as the nucleotides. When these nucleotides they are joined together they cause a long polypeptide chain and which compromises your DNA. Your pentose sugar, your pentose sugar and the phosphate group they are the backbone of the DNA ok. So they are present that they are the backbone which are joined together by the phosphodiester bond and the nitrogen base which is present in, inside. Uh, the DNA molecule they are having the hydrogen bonding between them. This we are going to see in our next lecture the detailed structure of the DNA. Today we are going to only see the terminologies which are present in the DNA and the RNA. You can see the three parts of the nucleotides uh, that is the nitrogen base which is the CN in ring compound the pentose sugar which is the 5 carbon sugar ribose it is present in RNA and deoxyribose in the present of the DNA and phosphate that is the 4 uh, P group which is present in the uh, DNA and RNA both molecules. You can see the structure of sugars that is the in the deoxyribose it, at the third position the oxygen group is absent and in the ribose you can see the oxygen group is present. You can see in the diagram also the yellow part they are the nitrogen base, the green the, it is the pentose sugar 
and the circle yellow uh, light yellow lemon yellow that is the phosphate group which is the structure of the dna Nit uh, studying about the nitrogen base we have seen in our previous lecture that the nitrogen bases there are five types that is the adenine guanine cytosine thymine and the uracil in which the uracil is absent in the dna and uh, instead of uracil the thymine is present in case of the rna thymine is absent and in uh, instead of thymine the uracil is present okay we have already learned about the purines and the pyrimidines purines they are the double ring compound pyrimidines they are the single ring compound and purines the two types of purines they are the adenine and the guanine and the two uh, three types of pyrimidines they are the cytosine thymine and the uracil the purines always binds to uh, have a bonding with the pyrimidine that is a is bonding with the t by the double hydrogen bond and c is binding with the g by the uh, triple bond triple hydrogen bond now moving towards the dna and the rna rna it is the single nucleotide chain it is single dna it is the double nucleotide chain that is n bases bond is present across the chain it is spiral that is double helix that is 3 prime to 5 prime and 5 prime to 3 prime at the central axis the, it is the in helical structure so dna it is the double nucleotide chain you can see the deoxyribose and the uh, ribose sugar present in both various terminologies we are going to see the various terminal uh, terminologies about the nucleic acid nucleic acid they are the polymers of the nucleotides nucleotides they are the carbon uh, ring structure containing the nitrogen linked to a 5 carbon sugar that is a ribose or deoxyribose a 5 carbon sugar that may be either a ribose or a deoxyribose making the nucleotide either a ribonucleotide or a deoxyribonucleotide about the ribonucleic acid dna is only of one type and the various forms of dna they are present which we are going to learn in our next lecture but before that rna is of three types one it is the messenger rna one it is the uh, ribosomal rna and last one it is the transfer rna the messenger rna takes part in the transcription process and the transfer and the ribosomal rna takes part in the translation process which synthesizes the protein the messenger rna carries the messages from the dna to the for the protein synthesis the transfer rna that is the trna it has it is the charged rna on which the ribo on which a polynucleotide of amino acid chain is going to synthesize and ribosomal rna that is the ribosome which is the n eukaryotes that is 80s and in prokaryotes it is 70s which in which all this uh, various processes is going to happen the translation process is going to happen in the ribosomal unit it is for eukaryotes it is 80s and for prokaryotes it is 70s now nucleic acid function what is the function of nucleic acid for dna genetic material sequence of nucleotides encodes different amino acid and for rna it is involved in transcription and translation of genetic material and uh, rna is also just genetic material of some viruses we have already seen in our previous lecture about the tmv virus that is a tmv virus carries the rna as its genetic material nucleotide structure despite being the complexity and diversity of life structure of dna present only four different type of nucleotides diversity is dependent on the nucleotide sequence that is the five carbon and the base base they are the purines and the pyrimidines and the phosphate group without phosphate group it is called as the nucleoside and with the phosphate group it is called as the nucleoside now we are going to see the basic uh, uh, chemistry of nucleic acid in the diagrammatic way in nucleic acid chemistry you can see that it is distinguishing between the two types that is the dna and rna in dna the components they are the acid that is the phosphoric acid the sugar which is present it is the deoxyribose sugar and the nitrogen bases which is the adenine guanine cytosine and the thymine in rna a uh, acid again phosphoric acid pentose sugar it is the d ribose sugar and the nitrogen base which is the adenine guanine uracil and the um, 
adenine, guanine, uracil and the uh, cytosine which is present in the RNA. The next chemistry it is about the uh, nucleosides and the nucleotides. In nucleoside you can see a nitrogen base plus a sugar in the case of RNA or the uh, deoxyribose sugar in the case of DNA. In nucleotides we are going to see a nitrogen base, a sugar and a phosphoric acid. Now we are going to see about the pyrimidine and the pyrim uh, purines present in the DNA and RNA. Pyrimidine they are the six ring compound, six member they are present, six position they are present. Two nitrogen atoms uh, at the position 1 and 3 are present, three double ring bonds they are present, planar molecule owing pi electron bond is present and the general formula is C4, H4 and N2. It is about the pyrimidine, pyrimidine you can see a single ring compound which is having a six member. In purine the uh, ring is double that is a double ring compound so the position they are also double that is the nine positions are present on that uh, purine. Single uh, six member pyrimidine ring is fused with a imidazole ring which is the extra ring present in the purines. Two nitrogen atoms at the position 1 and 3 are present at the pyrimidine ring and two position at the 7 and 9 at the imidazole ring is present in the purine. Planar molecule owing pi electron cloud is present. General formula is C5 H4 and N4 about the purines. The example of pyrimidine they are the uh, cytosine, uracil and the thymine and the uh, example of purine is the adenine and the guanine. You can see in this the nitrogen basis purines and the pyrimidines. Pyrimidines they are of the three types that is the uracil, thymine and the cytosine. Adenine they are of the two types adenine and the guanine. Uracil the uh, chemical name of uracil it is 2,4-deoxypyrimidine of thymine it is 5-methyl 2,4-deoxypyrimidine. Cytosine it is the 2-oxy-4-aminopyrimidine. Purine it is the 6-aminopurine and guanine it is the 2 amino 6 deoxypurine. You can see the structure and the general formula of uracil it is C4, H4, O2 and N2. For thymine it is the C5, H6, O2 and N2. For cytosine it is the C4, H5, O, N3. For adenine it is the adenine and guanine they are the double ring compound. So the uh, number of position they are 9. So it is the C5, H5, N5 and for guanine it is the C5, H5, O, N, N5. So these are the various nitrogen bases of the DNA and the RNA. So we are moving towards the summary of today's session. Today we have only seen about the general aspects of the uh, nucleic acid that is the nucleic acid chemistry. We have seen the two types that is the DNA and RNA and what is the major difference between the DNA and the RNA. The RNA it is of the three types, the DNA it is only of the single type. But there are different forms that is the A form, B form, Z form and the D form of the RNA which we are going to see. And the RNA is of DNA and the RNA is of, are of three types which have, we have already seen. We have seen the nucleic acid chemistry that is how the nucleic acid is made, what are the components of nucleic acid. So in our next session, in our next session we are going to see the detailed structure of DNA, the nitrogen base, the polynucleotide chain, the various bonds involved in the DNA structure and the different forms of DNA. So these are the various aspects which we are going to see in our upcoming lectures. So join the next session so you can understand the uh, structure of the DNA before uh, joining the next session you have to see the precap in which we have already learned about the history and various aspects of the nucleic acid. Thank you for joining.